Today I'm joined by Aidan Platel, Managing Director of Auroc Minerals. Aidan, welcome. How are you going, Danica? Thanks for having us. Aidan, you've got an extensive mining background and an impressive track record with mineral exploration, both in Australia and abroad. What brought you back to the WA nickel space and why now? Yeah, that's right. I'm a geologist by background. I'm lucky enough to have had success in exploration and in mining. Um, I put the discovery holes into Mirabella Santa Rita nickel deposit, which is over a million tonnes of contained nickel, so um, world-class nickel deposit. Um, spent seven years working on Mirabella and then 12 years all up in Brazil. Came back three years ago to Western Australia, joined Auroc about 18 months ago as CEO and now become MD. Um, we made very much a focus on Australian based metals and within that now we're very much focused on nickel in WA. The nickel price has been down for the last 10 years but it's coming back strong. We're very bullish on nickel and I think now's the time to make a move and get back into nickel exploration. Auroc Saints and Leinster projects are located in a world-class nickel precinct surrounded by large producing nickel mines. Can you tell me a bit more about these projects? Certainly. Uh, Saints and Leinster are definitely in the Norseman Waluna belt, probably the most well endowed nickel belt in Australia, maybe even the world. Um, so it's a fantastic location. We've got these, uh, both the projects of Minotaur, who picked them up in 2013. But basically, neither project's been drilled for the last 10 years. So that's what we we're looking for some underloved nickel projects and a great location. Uh, the Poseidon plant that's about to start up again near Saints. We've got near the Goldfields Highway. So fantastic location, both have existing resources on them. It's the base resource and then the low hanging fruit to grow that resource and then some upside potential that's really looking good with uh, exploration targets that haven't been touched yet. You recently announced some outstanding assay results from your maiden drill program at Saints. Can you tell me a bit more about these? Yeah, we're very pleased with these first results. The, the maiden results, very, very high grade nickel. Um, at Saints, particularly St. Patrick's. Uh, we also have got some downhole EM conductors from the first two holes. It's over 15,000 Siemens, so a very, very strong conductor. It hasn't been drill tested yet, so we're looking to drill that as soon as possible. This first 3,000 metres of diamond drilling was really to get some more information on these projects and to confirm their historic data. Um, we're certainly doing that and exceeding expectations with some of the grades. Really, two metres is thick enough. These these deposits are really generally only one to three metres thick of massive sulphides, so we're certainly seeing that thickness. Sure, they might swell out to five or six metres in places, but that's structurally controlled. Um, they're fickle, it's fickle nickel, but we'll get there and we've got some certainly, certainly some good targets and certainly high grades, so it's really showing the potential for this to be a, a really good deposit. So what's next for Auroc Minerals? It's a very exciting time for Auroc at the moment. The drill program's ongoing, so we still have to finish another three to four holes. We have the results for the first six holes coming out soon and then obviously the results for the remaining program. Um, we have all the downhole EMs still to come after that first initial plate. We're then going to collate all the data ready for some drilling next year, some really major drilling program early next year. We're going to move up to Leinster project and do our first maiden drill program up there while we're collating the data. So really I think we've got a lot of news flow to come, a lot of good news to come and I think we're going onwards and upwards for Auroc. Well it's certainly an exciting time. We look forward to following the Auroc Mineral story and getting the next update from you Aidan. Excellent, thanks very much for having me today.